continue with this uh, problem which was uh, started uh, in the previous presentation now we'll solve this problem using now letter b using unbounded tendons considering a 20 meter span to start for unbounded tendons as given from the nscp 2015 specification there are two cases if the span to the ratio will now be less than or equal to 35 or greater than uh, 35 so that means that we will start determining the span to the ratio knowing that the span will now be 20 meters and the depth of the beam is 1 meter substituting now these values 20 meter to 1 meter we got now the ratio as 20 which is now less than 35 that means that uh, for this problem it falls under, under the first category so that means that fps will now be the less the least of these three values but before that we need to determine first the value of FSE and the rows of P. We know that FSE will now be calculated as the effective force all over the area of the pre-stretching tendons. Substituting values, we got the value to be 1162 megapascals. Also, the rows of P, which was already determined from letter A of the solution of this problem, and we got that to be 0 0.00953. Knowing that this will now be assuming that this will be a flange section. Knowing these values, we can now say that the FPS will be determined as the least of these three values, say uh, the first value equal to, substituting these values, 1162 megapascal and rows of P, we got now 1269 megapascal. For the second condition, FSA plus 420, we got this to be 1582 megapascal. And the third value, FPY, it is given to be 1581 megapascal. Therefore, FPS will now be the least of these three, which is now equal to this 1269.12 megapascal. Using these values to determine now the ultimate moment capacity of the beam, then we need to determine first the A, that is now the depth of the concrete uh, compression block. Assuming now that this will be a flange section, which was already proven on, on the first uh, requirement letter A for banded tendons. So we assume that this will be a flange section by this formula the same as we did on on the first part substituting values especially fps equals to 1269 and the other values will be the same as of the previous we got now the depth of the compression block as 173 millimeters which is still considered as a flange section because it is now greater than the average flange thickness of 170 millimeters so we don't need to revise this value and this is now the true value of the A. Knowing now the value of A, then we can now calculate now the nominal moment capacity of the beam by this formula, which was which was uh, used the same as of letter A, assuming a flange section, APS, FPS, and so on and so forth. So uh, substitute now. What's new here will be the value of FPS and the value of A as compared to the first part that is stuff for banded tendons substituting values then we got now a nominal moment of 2034 kilonewtons meter ultimately the ultimate moment capacity uh, multiplying this nominal by phi that is now 0.9 we got now the nominal moment i mean the ultimate moment capacity of the beam as 1831 kilonewtons meter